We want to give a big shout out to our friends at Stryker for sponsoring this video. I just visited their global headquarters in Kalamazoo, Michigan, and wow, this leading medical manufacturer has state-of-the-art workplaces, provides top pay, and even has a housing stipend for their interns. Learn more about how Stryker supports their employees who are in first by going to careers.stryker.com forward slash first. All right, in the 15th spot, we have team eight. <laughs> From Palo Alto, California, and Palo Alto High School, it's Pally Robotics with an overall record of 14 and two. They were the also the winners of the Utah Regional. So, uh, finishing fourth, they had a 1.9 ranking score average. They were eight and two and were selected uh, number one overall. And this alliance would take it in six matches. They are a tall bot. Um, I really do like their intake. If you watch it, um, we've seen a lot of intakes this year where they're kind of flimsy or balls come in and just go right back out, or they get pinched in on the side. Um, they really have a really nice intake that they get them and they go, you know, right where they need to go. So um, they really have this, you know, mechanism down. So nice work to them. Nice win. Uh, they'll be competing again later this season at Monterey, Monterey Bay. Um, so we'll see them again there. So congratulations to Team 8. I can't remember the last time we've had Team 8 on the list. Um, if ever, I'm not sure. So um, congratulations to them. All right. In our 14th spot, we have Team 3683. This is me too. See, this is what happened. Oh, All right, man. I'll, I got it. I got it. I'll do. I'll do that. <laughs> um, so, water, from Waterloo, Ontario, Canada, and David Catholic Secondary School, it's Team Dave. They have an overall record of seventeen and one, and they were the winners of the Humber District event. So, Dave had some amazing success these past few years, um, and was one of the reasons um, so many eyes were on the Humber event uh, on TVA Game Day this past weekend. I kind of made a comment there. It seemed like we all kind of really split screens of Humber and Plano. I think we were all watching that on Sunday. So mm -hmm. um, Dave would take the the number two seed going 11 and one with a 2.16 ranking score average. I believe, I believe they declined number one's offer, um, and but would somehow still get 11-14 on their alliance. So um, with the help of them in 24-05, they would take the win in six matches. A great team with another awesome robot this season. A super efficient high goal scoring machine. Dave looks um, really, really good again. Um, no videos on, on demand on TVA, but from what um, we all saw on Sunday, just a, another great machine and amazing work. They would take uh, the double gold clean bling, and they would take on the District Chairman's Award banner um, as well. So, guys, thoughts? Uh, thoughts? I'm just trying to get them up. Sorry about that. we got to sit through all those uh, Twitch pre-rolls, unfortunately, uh, before we can load up their videos for it. Um, Dave, by the way, I, I would have them in my top 10, maybe around the 8 or 9 spot. Um, that's where I'd put them. Uh, but Dave looked really great. I love their consistency of their bot. Uh, you know, 11-14 performed really well once they got the playoffs. Uh, but Dave was consistent through the whole time. 11-14 had some struggles and quals. Uh, and Dave, to me, just really just seemed to take it. Uh, and so it's great to see you know, one of the Elims, and you might have wondered more about who the number one alliance really was, yeah. but they also performed quite well, too. So we have to give them some props uh, for really uh, making some great matches against the Blue Lions. But uh, Dave's been a team we've been talking about for years, uh, has been just performing just great every single year, and it's great to see them uh, really back on top once again. Mm -hmm. Yeah, a lot of people are saying a little too low um, in the chat, and um, kind of like you mentioned, Tyler, I think that's why they didn't pick 11-14 is because they did have some struggles, but... Um, just a really great alliance, the, the, the um, combination of these two. Yeah. I don't know, I, I'd, I'd always pick 11-14. It's usually a pretty sure bet. So I'm sure Dave <laughs> felt the same, same way. Oh, yeah. 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 <laughs> All right. So we're going to go from uh, 14 spot to 13, and Christine's going to tell us about Team 226. And they're from Troy, Michigan. In Troy and Athens High School, it's the Hammerheads. And they had an overall record of 15-4-1. And, and they were winners of the St. Joseph District in Engineering Inspiration Award. So they had the gold, silver, clean bling. So congrats to them. Nice. So after ranking second, they joined the number one alliance with 42-37 and 34-52 to battle their way to the finals. Um, taking it to three during both quarters and semis and then taking it to two in the finals. They're scheduled to play again at their home event in Troy in week six, so it seems like a huge gap. I didn't watch this event, but it seems like they had a pretty good run, and it seems like it was a pretty close quarterfinals and semifinals match, um, like bracket of three for them. So 
anybody have any other insight because there were no matches that were up for yeah. me to actually go and watch yeah i mean you can you can find the the archives uh on their on their twitch mm -hmm. page but we actually had uh the drive coach for 226 just on the infamidation show Ooh. uh just recently uh so talking about that yeah i mean this is a pretty crazy event um you had uh some teams we'll probably hear about in a little bit uh go out in the semis with just some weird wonky stuff uh so 226 ends up playing against uh you know tech bikes and average joes in the finals and a lot of back and forth. Uh, we've watched finals two. Uh, Miss climbed at the end too. Uh, they definitely uh, helped the Blue Alliance uh, uh, get and take that win. But nothing, nothing to take away from Crew Twenty Six, who looked uh, really awesome. And uh, the way they performed uh, w was it was just great. I just love seeing the spot. At, you know, a team that maybe you haven't heard about too much anymore. They tend to shoot uh, from either the trench area or they'll shoot up right against the, uh, the front there too. So love seeing the, the versatility with that as well. Uh, but yeah, congrats to them and uh, congrats yeah. for a great run at this event. Yeah. And going back, they've had a uh, 18 and 19. What? Oh, sorry. They've, had, they've won Chairman's Award um, in FEM 17, 18, 19, and probably some previous, but this is their uh, four-year streak. They took on Michigan uh, State Championship Chairman's Award as well last year, so just a solid team all around. Um, that's definitely not an easy thing to do. So, mm -hmm. Yeah. Well done. All right, so we're going to move on to the number 12 spot. Mike, tell us about Team 111. Yeah, from Arlington Heights, Illinois, and uh, Township High School, District 214, it's Wild Staying. They have an overall record of 10 and 4, and they were the semifinalists at the Midwest Regional this past weekend. So they took Infinite Recharge at the legendary uh, Midwest Re Regional and finished 7th with an 8 and 2 record and a 1.9 uh, ranking score average. They would captain the 6th Alliance and exit in the semifinals. Tyler, I'll ask you about them in a second, yeah. but. Would you would you say they're? I want to ask you in a second, but I think they might be a little high here. Um, they seem to take a little bit to. I mean, like high as in like they're too low. <laughs> like they yeah. should be higher. That not um, like. There should be a higher number in the rankings. <laughs> yes, yes. <laughs> the actual yeah, number. I yes, yeah. I agree. Okay. Um, um, so yeah, they seem to just take a little bit to line up if they're not at the fender. Um, they're a small bot, but choose to go through the middle of the field a lot. Definitely a good bot and a good shooter for sure. Um, but um, Tyler, so do you have any like thoughts on seeing them this weekend? Yeah, I mean, when the reveal came out, uh, really looking forward to their bot. I still think they performed quite well. If you guys listen yeah, to what we yeah. said before, Midwest was kind of crazy in regards to how line selections worked. So I'm not like terribly surprised to see some of these teams at Midwest go out earlier than what was probably expected, sure. just the way that alliances worked out. Um, so uh, Wild Sing declined uh, the invitation from the number one alliance, wasn't seventh. They slept up in the six and then beat Ponich, who we talked about earlier. Um, so really, uh, for me, two things. Mike, I think you nailed the head. Take a little bit to line up. Uh, and then when they go through the middle, uh, that jostling from those beams tends to pop power cells out of their robot occasionally. Um, also, 111 had a decapitation, I think, at some point during the Midwest oh, Regional. Uh, so, you know, there, there's a few things uh, with, with that that you could say lower. I'd probably have them around 20 or so. Uh, but yeah. still, I would have this team in the top 20. Like, Ponage, I probably wouldn't have my top 25. Uh, 111, I still would. I thought they performed very well. I thought their robot is very slick, both aesthetically and also functionally. Um, I did do a Behind the Bumpers interview with them, too, so that should be coming out in the next week or so. Uh, so make sure you take a look at some of the cool stuff. And if you look at this climb that just happened here, they don't need to have both hooks in order to climb. And I really like that versatility a lot, too. Yeah, yeah. for sure. Cool deal, man. Thanks. Yeah, thanks for sharing that. This was great. When we can get to events, we can uh, provide a little more insight. All right. Sounds good. So Justin's going to tell us about our 11th ranked team, and that's going to be Team 2338. From Oswego, Illinois, Oswego and as we go East High School with its Garrett forward, 16-1 overall, and with the winners, the Midwest Regional. So 23-38 loves to shoot from the trench and cycle from the human player. They're really good at it. Um, the accuracy does drop a little bit at times, but they shoot and drive fast enough that they certainly overcome that. Uh, the team that I've seen this week, they have one of the fastest climbers. It's really nice. Uh, it's an easy-looking kind of a pull-up design. They have a fold-out arm that grabs the bar and just pulls the robot up. Definitely takes less than a second, super fast, and it definitely... Uh, uh, led to a lot of nice, uh, consistent double balances for them. So another great robot from 2338, and you can catch them week five at the Iowa Regional. I was uh, actually quite quite proud when I started writing uh, 
the script for this, I wrote Oswego, Illinois, without having to without <laughs> having to look it up. So that's one of those things that you know you know you're making the list a lot if I can just do it from memory. <laughs> I know, yeah, that's right. Uh, I'll mention a little bit about twenty three thirty eight as well too. Yeah. Uh, so this team, I think, is very accurately ranked uh, in regards to where they are. Uh, they twenty three thirty eight, I think, played the game the right way in order to have them win a great finals matches as well too against uh, Hilltoppers uh, in sixteen twenty five Winnovation as well too that we saw. Uh, I really thought that we'd see them play the number number one seed uh but argos had some issues so that allowed the number four seed to just be consistent and play them in the finals but 23 38 is the real deal i think in previous years they've seeded high because they've been able to capitalize on the extra rp and maybe their robot didn't function as well like in regards to other aspects this year they were able to function quite well uh and and so i think the rankings are more deserved in regards to how far they can go in the playoffs and this really showed uh it doing it this year as well too so congrats to 2338 uh another team that we got an interview with as well too so can't wait to show that off uh sometime in the next week or so well done. awesome thanks for that Let's uh, take a short break and thank our friends over at Stryker uh, for really supporting us. Stryker has done so much uh, to help fun stay loud, live, and independent. And you think, hmm, fun sold out. They can't be loud, live, and independent anymore. Not true. Uh, Really what it comes down to is that Stryker has said, hey, you know what? We love first. You guys love first. And we just want to bring some people on board, pay them a ton of money, and support them being in first. How does that sound? And you know what? We've have vetted quite a few sponsors before. We haven't taken really any on board to this uh, magnitude that we had before. And we're very happy we have because Striker has really come through uh, in, in being big for us and being big for first and just supporting uh, so much in the first community. So go check out. They have a Strikers Careers blog or you can check them out at careers.stryker.com uh, to learn uh, so much more about what's going on. So many positions and jobs. Uh, if you watched Infimidation, we were uh, trying to find me a marketing job uh over there and there was like 60 of them available just in michigan and then like another 100 available worldwide so uh so i might be looking soon who knows hopefully my boss isn't watching right now uh so with that said uh go check out uh careers.stryker.com uh if you want to learn uh, about more about striker and they're just gorgeous facilities uh that they have all the way around the world and how they will support you being first love them so much thanks a lot striker uh for allowing us to yeah. just you know do crazy ad lib ads as well too because they're, they're just chill with everything we do, and we love them for that. Sweet. Thanks a lot, Striker. All right, moving into the top 10, our last double-digit team is Team 10-23. From Temperance, Michigan, and Bedford Senior High School is Bedford Express. So it's an overall record of 16-2. and two. They were the winners of the Jackson District event. So with 26 ranking points and over 130 more teleops sell points than the next highest team, and through 12 matches and a 10-1 record, 10-23 would take that number one seed. Um, and then go on to win in six matches. Seriously, just crush their opponents. Like, if you look at their scores, um, out of six matches, their opponents only sc- in playoffs, their opponents only scored above 100 once. Yeah, it wasn't close. And it was only 100, it was 105 points at that. So just a dominating performance from Bedford Express. Again, no videos on TBA, so you can really check out their robot. Uh, but congrats uh, on the district chairman's awards. So double gold uh, cling bling for BedX. <laughs> That's what I'm calling them now. Uh, nice. So get those emotes out. Uh, gold, gold for them. Um, and good luck in a couple of weeks when they're we'll be playing at the Woodhaven uh, before they'll head to MSC. So yeah, when I saw those scores, um, just you know, it's just like you don't know if it's just a weaker event or if it's just really like shut down defense or. But again, couldn't really see. Uh, no, they just crushed really, it. They, they just, just absolutely yeah, crushed just, it. Dude, they just. I mean, the points, uh, I don't know if you saw it. I saw you had it up, Tyler. If you don't, that's cool. But um, I got it right here. Uh, <clears throat> yeah, they're, they, their opponents scored 53, 75, 105, 99, <laughs> 79, and 93. Yeah. <laughs> they, like, almost doubled, like, uh, each time they played. So uh, just a great performance for them. So congratulations. Yeah, congrats, uh, Bedford. I think uh, from our information show, I think our hosts – Ranked them number one. I think they were down in like the fourth, uh, number one in regards to teams in FIM. And I think uh, the the top ten in the region had them in like fourth or something like that, which is different than what the top twenty five is because that's only people in FIM uh, voting as well. But yeah, very well deserved by Bedford. Maybe a couple spots higher in my book, um, but this is uh, you know probably like a seven eight. So this is pretty close to what, where I put them as well. For sure. Oh. All right. So from one FIM team to the next, Justin's going to tell us about legendary Hall of Fame team sixty seven. 
From Highland, Michigan, Huron Valley Schools, the Hall of Fame hot team, 16-3 and three overall, and with the winners, the Milford District event. So the Heroes of Tomorrow played their last official match uh, last season in the Carson semifinals, and they came out to play in 2020, taking the number one seed over the weekend. Their multi-ball auto is an effective start to their match, um, and they really like to shoot from the fender, which keep their accuracy high and the score just as high. And it's funny, and Mike and I have talked about this in the past, but it's funny those little things that, like, from past year's games that you keep applying to this year's games, like the fender shot. Like, the fender was the was the structure in front of the basketball hoops in 2012. Team shooting in front of the fender, <laughs> against the wall, for me, have been the fender since then. Um, so 67 really dominates from the fender, right up there uh, close to the goal. Uh, keeps their accuracy super high. They like to play the front-end sweeper um, and just put those balls away throughout the course of the match. The climber's wide and stable um, to round out another great hot bot from the hot team yeah <clears throat> sweet deal i didn't get a chance to see hot really compete this week yeah. so um so many events i tell you so but the good news is right. but the good news is let's do a plug you can watch all the events at once that you want go to blue lines game day right guys so why oh, would really? you watch anywhere else <laughs> So. I really like it when Tyler drops into a stereotypical game announcer voice. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> it's, it's, like, it's like the radio announcer. Buy now. You now. <laughs> right. Use cars. Oh, my God. I love it. It's one of my favorite. <laughs> Puppy chow. <laughs> it's one of my favorite things, actually, in the whole show. All right. So we're going to move on. Uh, in the eighth spot, Christine's going to tell us about Team 2910. They're from Mill Creek, Washington, and Henry Jackson High School. It's Jack in the Butt. And they were 17-1 overall and were the winners of the West Valley District with an overall record, um, which I already said. And they were uh, ranked number two. Oh, at this event, they were 16-2-0. Sorry. I had literally cheated and copy and pasted part of last <laughs> week's because they basically had a pretty similar event. Very so they were back. <laughs> yeah. Little uh, copy pasta there. So back-to-back yeah. <laughs> -back events and back-to-back -back blue banners and autonomous awards. Not too shabby. Um, I mean, they had a great first event, so I think it was only natural that they performed even better at this event. And it was awesome to see um, 4911 captaining that alliance and then getting them back on board. Um, and they also had 6076 um, and went undefeated in the playoff. So unsurprisingly, they were outstanding once again. I love watching their robot just, like, glide around. The only other, like, swerve robot that I think I've just, like, been super, super wowed by was Kikamana in, uh, what was that, 2014? Mm. Just, like, a while back. But, mm -hmm. like, they're just awesome to watch. So. Yeah, how the hell is this team only number eight? <laughs> like, that, yeah, that that's a should, good question. should definitely be higher. So, I, because, I, I don't know. PW got snubbed. Like, 118 and 148 played this weekend. So, everybody I know that. was kind of. Yeah, yeah. yeah I guess there somewhere. watching or something. Um, mm -hmm. So, a couple, real quick, just need to do an interruption and thank you to chat uh, for sending this over. But uh, there's an email that we have that we're going to throw up on screen uh, about the, uh, unfortunately, it looks like. Uh, some of the New England district events, Christine. Yeah. Uh, so on here, let's read Let's read some of this off. Uh, the following events have been uh, canceled, it says. Not even postponed, but canceled. Uh, so following events, uh, North Shore district event, WPI, Western New England event. Uh, so difficult news, they say, to share, of course. But, uh, you know, the weird thing is all the emails I see say contact customer service at first to go do this. Like, don't contact us. Contact customer service. Uh, for all. Like, Every single cancel, cancel email I've seen that's had this as well, too. Uh, so this is up on Chief Delphi if you, if you want to see the main COVID-19. And does it say abundance of caution? That's been yeah, the that's, common that's, that's, Yeah, that's currently. Line. Sure yeah, that might be the next keyword. Who knows? So. Uh, so, yeah, and obviously some uh, FLL Junior events uh, cancel as well, too. So hopefully, uh, I don't know, Christina, is 125 going to any of these? Yeah, we're, we're, <laughs> we're supposed to be at North Shore this weekend. Oh, so we right. were supposed to be at Mount Olive last weekend. Um, obviously, that didn't happen. And then we had literally just gotten an email earlier today from any first saying that they had planned on keeping North Shore this weekend um, as planned. And then now this. So yeah, it's definitely a roller coaster because it's like uh, keeps growing how... and growing and growing. Yeah, and growing. I mean, I'm I'm glad that it's what tuesday and we're finding this out right? at least it's not like load and night because yeah. again you're not like, trying to board a plane to taiwan or something you know? that's what i'm saying right like mm -hmm. it's absolutely sucks but these are you know district teams uh it like i'm not trying to take away at all but this is a side point that like you said 
the teams that have to like travel with flights and all that kind of stuff they, they get canceled you know but yeah. uh, oh that's well. really terrible all right sorry to interrupt there oh that's some breaking news dude that's what makes for a good show yeah we need a soundbite but <laughs> <laughs> we have it it's right there that's it from <laughs> like that coming right? over the teletype perfect <laughs> All right, so at number seven, we have Mike, want to tell us about 2337? Yeah, from Grand Blank, Michigan, and Grand Blank High School, it's the Engineers. They have an overall record of 32 and three, and they were the semifinalists this past weekend at St. Joe's. Um, so, second week in a row, the top 20 for the kids that win and the district chairman's award last weekend at Kettering. They went 18 and 0 and had the number one seed. They would take the number one seed again here at St. Uh, the Joseph event going 11-1 with a 2.41 making score average. After beating number eight, they would follow the number four student in the semifinals. I'm not exactly sure what happened, maybe out-muscled. Um, number four put up 260 and 200 unpenalized. Uh, again, another another event that I didn't have um, videos on the blue lines. Uh, but again, just as an encouragement, check out the region recaps uh, just for more in-depth coverage. But congrats to 2337, two weeks in a row in the top 10. A um, couple of weeks off before they'll compete at the East Kentwood event uh, coming up. So congratulations and good luck moving forward. I don't see uh, Zach Orr in the chat tonight, but he was here uh, last week, an, an OG for, for us. But. All right, moving into the sixth-ranked team. Justin's going to tell us about Team 2767. From Kalamazoo, Michigan, it's Strike Force, 12-5 and five overall, and with a semifinalist at the St. Joseph's event. So back-to-back -back world championships in 2017 and 2018 for Strike Force. 2020 is bringing some new challenges that 2767 will have to overcome. At their first event, the robot featuring their classic swerve drive as well as a turret was very adept at firing balls into the high goal. And it was a little bit frustrating for me. I couldn't catch uh, the match videos that tripped them up uh, in the eliminations, especially semifinal match one, which seemed like a lot of penalties were uh, called against them. Mm. Um, and just the, the match videos just weren't on the Blue Alliance, and I couldn't quite track down exactly what happened. But... Uh, but you can bet 2767 is going to keep grinding with their eyes set on another trip to Einstein in 2020. Good luck to 2767 Strike Force. So, uh, Tower, I didn't get a chance to catch Infimidation. Did they discuss what happened at St. Joseph's? Um, yeah, I mean, they're, they didn't go too much in the detail, I think. Um, it, I, I just need to point out, if you guys didn't see, uh, there's – well, you know what? We'll see a couple things in Clips of the Week, so I'm not going to spoil it if you didn't see it yet. But, <laughs> okay. I mean, there's, there's some crazy stuff that, that happened. Uh yeah, you know, go watch the Infimidation Show. They're going to give a much better detail than what I can in regards to, to that. Also, Sky's in chat, um, so he might be able to provide a bit more insight um, as well, too. But uh, I know somebody said they did not do good in quals. Yeah, it took them a little bit of time to heat up. But uh, I don't think this is actually – some people are like, oh, they got eliminated in semifinals. They can't be in the top six or whatever. Uh, I don't know about that. I think uh, I think this team, you know, really is up there. I think they had some unfortunate things happen, and sometimes yeah. it goes that way. And maybe pushing back a couple. And I know some people are mad that maybe Bedford didn't rank higher or Hot didn't rank higher or something like that. Uh, but I don't know. Both them and Engineers, are, I think, are fantastic machines still. And sometimes unfortunate things happen. It doesn't mean they're not a good team or a good robot. Yeah, and sometimes yeah. you could really yeah. split hairs over the votes, right? It's, it's a few yeah. points separates where these teams ended up. So. That's true. So don't forget to vote. Most people complain yeah. usually don't. That's right. Exactly. <laughs> hey, there it is. <laughs> yes. You got it. Thanks for watching. If you want more fun content, be sure to subscribe and ring the bell to be notified about our latest videos. You can also directly help support fun by visiting our Patreon at patreon.com forward slash first updates now or by subscribing at twitch.tv forward slash first updates now. Thanks to all of our co-executive producers on Patreon and Tier 2 Plus subscribers on Twitch keeping fun loud, live, and independent.